Okay, Jason Hollis Farms today. I was over here at the barn piddling around today. It's been raining quite a bit, but it's finally quit. So what I decided to do today is give y'all a barn tour of our, our deer barn that we use. Hang on and I'll just, I'll turn right around and I'll show y'all a few things. Okay, if y'all have watched some of our previous videos, y'all seen our bucks are growing out pretty good. This is some of the reason that they are. This is, these are some of the books that we've used in the past and used their semen to breed our does with over the years. And <clears throat> when you breed deer like this and keep breeding the does up and breeding them up, you end up with some pretty good deer. And I've had a few questions asked about some of the stuff I've killed. This deer just happens to be over here. This is one of the last deer that I got mounted. He's going to about 155 as a, just a clean eight point. He's just a nice Mississippi deer. I actually killed him over in Mississippi. So anyway, I just wanted to share with y'all some of these bucks that we've used their semen off of for our AI process. If you don't know what the AI is, that's artificial insemination. So we've about got our genetics so deep now that we don't do much AI anymore, just mostly live breeding. So. What I'm fixing to do now, I'm going to hop on the Ranger and run out here in the pens. And uh, before long, we're going to be weaning fawns from their mamas and running the deer through the barn to do that. And what I wanted to do today was give y'all a little tour and show y'all how that works. So when I video that, y'all won't be in so, so in the dark. Y'all kind of know what we got going on. So I'm going to hop on the Ranger, run out in the pen and give y'all the whole process of running the deer through the barn and show y'all how the barn works. Be right back. Okay, here's where we are. We're out here in these first pen. I'm just going to use this first pen out here behind the barn as an example. What we got here is an alleyway that goes down through here all between, all the way in between the pens. This gate's closed right now, but it goes all the way down through there. So for example, these deer back here, if I was going to put them in the barn, what I'd do, I'd get behind them and make a drive and push them up through here. And with the alley, they'll turn <clears throat> and this heads right to the barn. All right, I'm going to hop back in the ranger real quick and show y'all how the end of it works towards the barn. This alleyway is about 10 foot wide. You can ride right down it, no problem, behind the deer. If I was pushing the deer up in here, this gate right here would already be open. Oh, let's open it where we can ride in here. All right, I'm right here with the ranger. What I would do, I would have somebody, as I drive in here, y'all see I gotta cut the grass, but I would have somebody jump off the ranger and close this gate behind us as I pushed them on up in the wood part of the fence there. We got some grass work to do in here. But this right here, that's right back where we were just a second ago. This right here angles and comes into this little opening right here. And this has got a guillotine door on it. And I would have somebody on the outside over there, when I come through here, I'll tell them to drop it. All right, they'll drop that door behind us, and I'll come on around here. Makes a little turn, I'm gonna cut this grass. The next time y'all see it, be a little cleaner. All right, I'll be pushing the deer up through here, through this hole, then I come through, Got all the deer in here. I'll tell somebody there's a guillotine right out here, a handle to drop this guillotine here. They'll drop it. All right, we got them. We're getting closer. This opening right here is at the barn. This door right here actually is hinged. It swings. So what we've done, we've made a funnel right here. And it goes into this room here and what I would do, I'm going to get some better light here in just a second, but somebody will be standing behind this door 
when they all go in, I'll say, all right, close it, close it, close it. So, close this door. All right, we got them in here now. All right, I gotta get us some better light. I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna try to show y'all best I can. Let me get over here real quick where I can give y'all an idea how long this room is. All right, this room goes all the way up there. It's probably about, oh, I don't know, 30 foot long. I don't know, maybe 12 foot wide right here. All right, let me open this little deal here where y'all can see. All right, this is what we call the red room. Let me go around there and cut these lights on. All right, you can see a little better than I thought you could. This room here's got red lights in it. And once we get the deer in here and get everything closed up, it gets dark and the, the red lights don't bother them so bad. So we'll hold them in there and then right down there, hang on, let me get a big light and show y'all this. All right, right down there in that corner, I'm gonna show y'all here in a minute. There's a guillotine door there that you can raise up and down, and that's where we'll push the deer on in these chutes. I'll show y'all in just a second. I'm gonna show y'all one more thing about this room here. All right, we call this room our, the red room. It's pinned to where this can't move right there. That's in the floor right there. And this is the door we just came in. All right, that's holding that door. And then you come over to this side, and this is pinned in the wall there. All right, so what we do now, this whole wall rolls on like them old barn door hinges right there. And the reason we do that, if the deer won't go in there, let me see if I can get y'all some good light where y'all can see it. You roll the whole wall. And what that does, he pushes the deer up into that corner, which I'll show y'all here in just a second. This thing works really good. Don't have to get in the in the room with them. Like I said, it just rolls. See that first red light? Just rolls and it'll roll all the way up there. See how far we are back, Matt? We got these little holes in the walls where we can stop it where we want to. We can pin it with these right in them holes. But we can stop it wherever we want to. All right, that's what we call the red room or the push room. I'm going to go around to the chutes now and show you how that works. All right, so after we get the deer in there, I've got one fella that'll be around there, whoever it may be, pushing the push wall. And then I'll be around here or whoever it may be. This is the corner that I was showing you a while ago, right here. And what we'll do, all these... These boxes have guillotine doors on them. What I'll do, I would have that one all the way open with the door up. I'd have all these open. Let's go ahead and open them. Show you how this works. See the hinges up there? Pulleys. Just pulls it down. See that door coming up? This thing works real smooth and quiet. All right. When I work the deer through here, I'll set up a better camera where I can show y'all it's working this, have a wide angle GoPro or something, but we'll make it work where y'all can see it a little better. All right, so what we do, got that one up. The chutes here, we'll leave this one down because we, we want what deer comes in here to stop right there. So just say we got 30 or 40 deer come in the push room and raise these up and watch them come through. Count you seven or eight and tell them to that's enough, don't push no more, drop this down. All right, what we're gonna be doing in a few weeks is weaning babies. So we'll have several in there. Well, what you wanna do when you get up here to this last one, before you get to the chute, you just have one deer. So you're looking in here, got a flashlight looking in there. And what you wanna do is get one deer in this front box before you get the chute and then drop the guillotine. So, you look in, the, in here, flashlight, whatever, see what you got. You got a doe, buck, fawn, doe, fawn, whatever it is. All right, I'm going to pause for a minute on the process, and I'm going to show you this shoot. 
This chute here is just like a cattle chute, but it's just, it's made for deer. These doors right here open. If you ever need to work on the deer, got them right here in this squeeze chute. It, with this handle here, that's the handle right there, you can adjust how big the squeeze is to the size of the deer. But what we're going to be doing in a few weeks, we're just going to be running them through. And this floor, y'all watch this floor. You drop that floor out from under them where they'll just be hanging and you can work on them if you need to work on them. Just raise it back up to that handle. What we're going to be doing in a few weeks is just separating buck phones, doe phones, and mamas. So we'll leave it all the way open. And what we'll do when we get a deer to this front box, we'll determine what it is, whether it's a grown doe, a doe fawn, or a buck fawn. All right, these doors right here on both sides close against the chute, where when they come out, they keep going straight ahead. Got to keep them focused, going straight ahead. All right, so we're going down this alleyway. I'm going to turn y'all around and show you the chute. Chute's right there. Have door closed on that side, door closed on that side. All right, what we'll do here, it's like a maze in here. Take a little while to get used to. Got to close that door. I'm going to show y'all this as I close it. All right, we got that door closed. All right, we're one step further from the chute. All right, all down through here, you see all these handles. There's a door right there, door right there, door right there, door right there, door right there. Six boxes on this side. Show you all the ends of these rooms. All right. These are little stalls we've got all through here. It's about almost 12 by 12, some of them eight by 12, depending on how it worked out. But what we'll do, let's just say I got a buck phone that's in the front. All right, somebody will be back here. I'll open this door and I'm gonna get behind it and look through this little hole. You'll be looking back here, holler. All right, we got a buck phone. Turn him loose. He'll turn him loose and we'll run him into this door. Close the door behind him. He's in there okay. All right, what we'll do next time, I'll put the bucks on the right and we're gonna open this one. This is on the other side of the hall. He got a doe phone. All right, turn it loose. He runs him down here. Puts the doe phone in the box. All right, now we got buck phones on the right, doe phones on the left. All right, next one, it's gonna be a grown doe. So what we gotta do with her, we gotta let her go back outside. Show you what I did now. Got that door closed there. Or rather right there. All right, let me show you what it looks like now. All right, here's the chute. We're coming down the hall here. It's about 10 feet, 12 feet. Got that door closed. Now we got the phones behind us. We got so many doors in here you can't keep up. All right. I'm going to show y'all. Here's the chute. We got a grown doe this time, so we're not weaning her. We're putting her right back in the pen we came from. We're going to let her out. All right, she's going to come out here. Push her left. All right, what's going to happen now? She goes through here. All right, these are all guillotines that are between every one of these stalls. I hope my film is good. We'll look at it a little better. All right, this is a little dog leg that goes around here. All right. Every one of these little openings you see is a different stall down through here. But we set the guillotines up between them so we can run the deer back outside. All right, I'm gonna go out here and reverse the door and show y'all how the deer go outside. Be right back. All right, y'all finna watch this guillotine come up. I got a handle right here. Pulley goes over there, down to there. Pull that up. This will already be open. But I'll take this door. All right, this is where we just came from. That's back the other way. All right, we've reversed the doors. Let me close this door here. 
All right, that's closed. Now, all right, we're, this is back outside, okay? On the other side is where we came in, right over there, where I said this door funneled them. So what I gotta do now is move the door to the other side. My door's sagging just a little bit. All right, so, this is where we came in a while ago and came through there. So this door here is going to swing around and pin over on that side. And then the deer can, let me swing that door back. The deer, the grown does will come right out that way and go right back out into their pens. And what we'll do on the fawns back in there, we'll just open them, we'll open a pen back in the other way for the doe fawns, and then we'll run the doe fawns out there, and then we'll do the buck fawns the same way. Not too tough, it's just a little hard to get used to, a lot of doors and stuff, but y'all will have a little more of an idea what goes on now when I start running the deer through there. All right, I'm back here in the barn. If if y'all have watched our other deer farming videos, y'all have seen how calm our deer are. The reason they are is for years, I bottle fed every doe that we've had. And this is where we did our bottle feeding at. Like I said, these stalls are about, some of them's about eight by 12, some of them 12 by 12. We would have about four babies to a stall. And we would hand bottle feed them every day, three times a day. And we've got six stalls on this side. And this thing goes around and goes down through here. I think this thing's about 150 foot long. And you can see some of the notes I had from when I used to bottle feed. Hadn't bottle fed in a, quite some time. We've, we've got pretty, our whole herd's pretty much pretty tame like we like it where we can, and one reason we like them tame because we have to run them through this barn and we don't want them crazy. So anyway, it's a, it was a big chore bottle feeding these things. But it got our herd where we wanted to. Our genetics is where we want it to be now. And we can mostly live breed. But we would bottle feed 70 to 80 babies a year. So you can imagine that three times a day for three months. and. They're all not born on the same day. Some, it goes on for, it's about a six month project, so. But anyway. So again, there's the chute. We'll get back here where y'all can see it a little better. There's all the boxes there. Five boxes. Try to end up with, for sure, one deer in the front box, couple in each of the others is okay. And then our room back there, that's our whole red room or push room that's got the push wall in it. Like I said, when I come in here in a few weeks to start sorting deer, I just wanted to give y'all an idea of what was going to be going on where it just didn't blow y'all's mind when we started working. And I think I'll come up in here with a, I'll set a GoPro or something up over here, get a little wider angle where y'all can get in on the action and see it and understand what goes on a little better. But anyway, it's hot in here. We don't have air conditioner in here. I never did want air because the babies had to go outside and come back in and I didn't want the air conditioner to give them pneumonia and they wasn't going to live in air conditioning the rest of their life. So I wanted to be as natural as possible. So, But we got fans. Let me turn around one more time and I'll show you. See if I can zoom in. See if it'll focus. All right, that fan right there blows to the inside. And then, see if I can get back here and stand up on something and show y'all up over these stalls. Let's see. All right, there it is. All right, that fan right there blows to the outside, so it's circulating through, and they're not, they're working with each other and not against each other pushing the hot air out and it stays actually pretty cool in here when you get it going for a while so but anyway 
Thought y'all might be interested in that, doing something a little different today. And like I said, I didn't want to surprise y'all when we started running the deer through and y'all not have a clue what was going on. So now y'all got a little idea of what's going to happen here in a little while. Anyway, appreciate y'all watching. If y'all like our stuff, subscribe to us. It's Hollis Farms. Out of here.